On 24th August 79 AD, around 2000 years ago, Mount Vesuvius lost its mind and because of it, the city of Pompeii froze in time and ash. So you must have seen these famous images of people who died in Pompeii when Vesuvius erupted. Especially this guy, found with his hand apparently on his boinker. What the hell was he doing? Anyway, I had always assumed the volcano must have happened at night because, you know, everyone seems to be in a sleeping position and must have just gotten consumed by the lava and didn't get enough time to run. Well, the truth is, there was no lava that came out of Vesuvius. The volcano erupted non-stop for 18 hours and it started at 12 in the afternoon. And each body found was, yes, in a crouching position, but there were no injuries found on any body. But they were all found with their heads up and mouths open. Why were they all sleeping with their mouths open? Lots of questions, so let's answer them. Good thing is, Pompeii was found buried under mounds of volcanic ash after more than 1500 years, exactly as it was on 24th August 79 AD, the day the volcano erupted. Thank God. Let's go there. Let's figure out what happened in Pompeii the day the volcano erupted. At this time, Pompeii was a holiday spot for rich people from Rome. It was the cool party place for the men in togas. There were elegant houses and sexy villas, tourists and factories and taverns and cafes and bathhouses. People gathered in the 20,000-seat arena and lounged in the open-air squares. So life was pretty chill. The morning of 24th August started just fine. It was a dope summer's day, tourists were enjoying their boozy brunches and life was okay. At 12 o'clock in the afternoon, something's happening to Mount Vesuvius. A huge, massive, big cloud starts to rise up from the mountain and goes many kilometers up. The writer Pliny the Younger, who was near there and wrote his eyewitness account, tells us that it was a cloud of unusual size and appearance, looked like a pine tree that rose to a great height on a sort of trunk, and then split off into branches. The blast sent ashes, pumice and other rocks and scorching hot volcanic gases so high into the sky that people could see it for hundreds of miles around. As it cooled, it all fell straight down on Pompeii. The ash, the lightweight chunks of pumice and other rocks. It was terrifying. Pliny tells us, I believed I was perishing with the world, and the world with me. But this rain of rock wouldn't hurt your body. It's so light in weight, it's actually possible to just walk under it. So most Pompeians had plenty of time to flee. But did they? Well, most of them, hopeful little punks as they were, were just waiting for it to be over. because. Something so weird cannot last long, right? Surely gods are making a mistake. Instead of raining water, they're raining rock. They'll correct it soon. Let's just stay in the house and drink. Meanwhile, 20 centimeters an hour of rock is continuing to rain down on the city. What would you do? Would you wait or would you run? It's 5 p.m. now and the pumice stone's rain hasn't yet stopped. At all. It is in fact raining harder now. At the start, that was five hours ago, a million kilograms per second of magma was coming out of Vesuvius. It was a 17-kilometer high eruption column. Now, it is 10 million kilograms per second of magma coming out. The eruption column out of Vesuvius now is 32 kilometers high. That's three times higher than aeroplanes fly. The air is now really dusty with ash. Breathing is getting tougher. The house roofs are collapsing now under the weight of falling rocks. It's no longer safe inside. Some people are starting to take their precious things, locking their homes and leaving Pompeii. 
outside on the streets a meter deep pumice blanket is now covering the streets and it's getting harder to open the doors because of these stones what would you do would you wait or would you run now 7:30 pm conditions have grown really worse now as more and more ash falls it's clogging the air making it harder to breathe a lot more buildings have now collapsed now the people inside their houses cannot open their doors since there's so much pumice outside the dust poured across the land like a flood one eyewitness account wrote and shrouded the city in a darkness like the black of closed and unlighted rooms what would you do would you wait or would you escape now somehow how would you escape if you were trapped inside your house 10 pm on the night of 24th august 79 ad it's now been 10 hours of constant rain of ash and stone on the city and the vesuvius is still spitting out massive clouds of dust ash and rock in fact the volcano is getting more powerful now and it has gotten dark now there's bizarre weather as well there's continuous lightning strikes all across the sky this feels like doom this must be doom this is the end of the world and those who did not run before cannot run now 1 am on the morning of 25th august 79 ad it's still raining ash and stone but now there's something even worse coming the first pyroclastic surge arrives pyroclastic surge is a 100 miles per hour hurricane of superheated poisonous gas and pulverized volcanic rock it gushed towards pompeii and swallowed everything and everyone in its path 3 am more pyroclastic surges pompeii is now buried under millions of tons of volcanic ash but nothing so far has definitively killed every single person in pompeii but then at 8 am the next morning death is here a pyroclastic surge full of ash and dust at the speed of 200 kilometers an hour and more than 100 degrees celsius hot jet blasted across pompeii inhaling this hot scalding ash and dust burned their noses and lungs instantly it seared their skin and every single person asphyxiated in the searing hot wind of dust and poisonous gas it was a horrible death that's why everyone appears sleeping they were covering themselves but trying hard to breathe and that's why their mouths are open and that begs the question what the hell was he doing pompey died covered in ash and dust it was abandoned until the 17th hundreds until it was rediscovered since it was all under ash we found it exactly as it had lived and died 